Hi, Doug Mealy here from Safer Handling, and welcome to the first episode of The Line, a chance where we can use our special glasses to scrutinise policy, guidance, letters, documents, even training manuals to see what agenda lies behind it or where its flaws are. Today's episode is going to focus around a great letter that's gone out with lots of different people's names and signatures on it, lots of company logos fluffed up to make it look good. A letter from the Children and Young People's Commissioner in Scotland calling on the government to take action and to put some statutes in place. Uh, now we know that there are existing statutes in different locations and some of them aren't enforced. We also have very stringent health and safety legislation and a framework for punishing and restoratively looking at uh, malpractice associated with health and safety and that's across all sectors. So I had a look at this document, little bits of it confused me. Let's see what you guys think. Initial reading makes for quite a promising argument here, but when you get into the actual wording of it, it concerns me. On the education sector, explicitly prohibit the use of restraint and seclusion in educational settings. So, language, explicit, clear and detailed manner, leaving no room for confusion or doubt. And then the second word was prohibit. So, formally forbid by law, rule or other authority. Stop someone from doing, make impossible. This is a call from the Children and Young People's Commissioner with the support of lots of other people wanting the names on this document to call the government to explicitly, so set out, no room for discussion, prohibit, make impossible, prevent, stop, restraint. So special glasses on or not, what that says to me is that we're not talking about unreasonable restraint here. We're also not talking about unlawful restriction of liberty. We're talking about restraint and seclusion. So stopping somebody leaving a room or a part of a building and restricting someone's liberty of their joints and their mobility to prevent harm to self, harm to others or damage to property. If we take that away, that's going to cause people to be left exposed and not be supported. As always, it's over to you. What do we think? A poor case of language choice or a lie? That's it from me, Doug Melia, and I'll see you next time on They Lie.